After watching the Blue Beetle movie with one of the coolest popcorn buckets, one thing that was sure was the fact that the movie is one of the most entertaining superhero origin films. But the ending might have been a little confusing. So, with that said, here is the Blue Beetle ending and post credit scenes explained. Building up to the ending of Blue Beetle, we see the face-off between Carapax and Jamie during their battle. Carapax made the decision to overcharge his suit's power in order to produce an explosion powerful enough to destroy Vicky and the other suits that they had created as well as everything else. After that, they traveled to Palmyra City. And when they arrived, many of the people of the neighborhood welcomed them back to their burned-down home. The Ray's family members were grateful for each other and all of their neighbors who treated them like family, regardless of the fact that they had lost everything. In order to celebrate Jamie and the rest of the family, the entire neighborhood made the decision to host a small gathering outside their homes. Jenny, who had just taken over as CEO of Cord Industries, had just promised that the company would never once again produce weapons. She assured the Rice family that Cord would cover all costs associated with repairing their house. How thoughtful of her. To add that Cord Industries would no longer attempt to drive out residents of the neighborhood from their homes. Jenny had to leave, though as she wished to visit the house where she had spent her childhood in order to reflect on the many memories she had made there. The other family members teased them whenever they had a romantic moment. Other Rise family members were celebrating and having fun with the rest of the neighborhood. Jamie and Jenny were flying to the court estate as the movie came to a close. Before we move on to the actual important part, make sure to subscribe, because we are grinding to get these videos out faster than any channel for you guys. But moving on, that was just the ending. Here's where the most important part is. We know that the movie has at least one post credit scene in this film so that the future of the franchise could be teased. So what happened in the post credit scenes of Blue Beetle? The only post credit scene that is important is the mid credit scene because it is the only scene that applies to the future of the Blue Beetle franchise. In this scene, we saw Ted Kord's lair as the computer screen began detecting a transmission signal coming from an unknown source. According to the transmission, Ted Cord is still alive. We discovered that Ted Cord, Jenny's father, had vanished at some point in the past during the events of Blue Beetle. Vicky Cord was able to take over the business and transform it into the weapons industry thanks to his disappearance. Even Jenny didn't know what had happened to her father or if he was still alive. Jenny, however, stated that she thought her father's sudden disappearance without a trace was due to his obsession with trying to figure out how to activate the Scarab. Thanks to technology that enabled him to simulate some of the Scarab's abilities, the Scarab never selected him as its host, so he was unable to become it. As a result, he simply decided to create weapons with abilities similar to the Scarab, and he ran his operations out of the tunnel found in the Cord Estate. That's just the first post-credit scene. As we mentioned, there were two post-credit scenes. But the second one was just for jokes. The second post credit scene, if you guys remember, shows the very same Mexican cartoon that was flashed on the security cameras of Cord Industries when Uncle Rudy used his machine. As such, it's a pretty useless scene that doesn't add anything else other than comedy to the film, but overall. Despite them not marketing the movie well, we actually thought the movie was good. Let us know what you thought about the movie and the post credit scenes. Make sure to subscribe for more scoops on your favorite cinema content.